Hey guys, this is Will of TyBL and welcome back to my channel. This video is kinda late to be honest. I was actually having a second thought on making this video but I decided to make it anyway. I just can't move on from the ending of Together and I want to share also my thoughts with you. Anyway, before I proceed with my review of the finale episode of Together, I just want to remind you that these are my own opinions only and just for constructive criticisms. It's not my intention to spread hate but just to give you my honest review. Without further ado, let's begin. Okay, this is kind of minimal but I noticed that the first part of episode 13 was shot first before the rest of the episodes. Take a look at Sala Watt's hair. It was noticeably shorter than the previous episodes. Although their appearance might not that so much a big deal, the continuity and the intense emotions it should have been in the later part of the finale episode suffered. But before we go further to that, I thought they would redeem the character of Pam in this episode. Although, it was shown in the later scenes that Pam and Tyne had talked about their situation, it was not still appropriate to demonize her character just for the sake of the drama. I really hate it when a BL series demonized women just for the sake of the plot and character development. Also, in the novel, it was actually Salawat who took Tyne to the hospital but it was different in the series. But given the situation in the series, it was understandable. One thing that I couldn't understand was why Salawat did not follow them in the hospital. Yes, you might have a misunderstanding currently, but why didn't you follow him immediately Salawat? Probably, Tyne needed space? But, you should have tried first. I don't want to question the love of Salawat to Tyne because who am I to question that? But, it was really bugging me. Remember when Tyne fainted during the football match of political science and architecture? Even though Salawat was injured, he still went to Tyne to know he was okay. There's a character issue in here if I were to say it. It was like he wasn't the Salawat we loved from the previous episodes. Why is that? I can't understand either. Enlighten me please. Okay, let's proceed to the scene where the Salawat wives were dissing Tyne because the two just broke up. Really? The women here were demonized again? Why did you have to keep implying that? It was unnecessary. Although the scenes in the series and novel were not the same, the Salawat wives were better. I'm sorry if I keep on comparing the two. It was not because I read the novel. I'm after on how they portray the women in here. I will say it again. It was not necessary. It did not help the story to progress at all. Let's jump into the music competition. Have you seen this clip? Of course you do. It was an awkward moment. It was really risky to shoot the end scene first in a series. It happened because these were the early days of shooting. They did that to cut the cost. The chemistry they had in the previous episode suddenly vanished in a single scene. It was supposedly the peak of their love story. Some might say that because they were in a crowded place so they were not that intimate. It also happened in the novel but it handled better. Tyne did not want Salawat to kiss him because he was too shy but Salawat did it. Salawat kissed him in the forehead. It could have been better. A kiss in the forehead could be meaningful and could signify trust, respect, an assurance that Salawat will not hurt Tyne again. It missed the chance to be meaningful and to have some depth in it. Let's move on to Mill and Fu Kong. It was a happy ending for them in the series but I was not happy actually. I was not happy for Fu Kong. I don't want him to be an option for Mill. Remember when Fu Kong said that if Mill would come to him, he might not let him go to Tyne. And Mill just left him? It was clearly that it was one-sided love. My dear Fu Kong, you don't deserve that kind of treatment. You deserve better. Someone who will not treat you as an option. Let's talk about Man and Type. I hope you understand me on this but Man and Type was my favorite in this episode. In my opinion, these two had the best conclusion in the story. Although it happened too fast, it was undeniably good. 
The chemistry was so powerful. I never imagined the power they hold until this episode. Sorry if this video sounded like a rant but it was just my opinion. Although there were things that bothered me, I still enjoyed this episode overall. But like everyone said, there's lacking in it that we could not point out. There was something in the previous episodes that we could not feel in the finale. Anyway, the series will always be in my heart. Share to us your own opinion in the comment section below. That's it for today and see you on my next video.